on this first day of 2024. Wow, here we go again. Now, I am not going to say like everybody does automatically, Happy New Year, even though I did post, uh, you know, one of those pictures um, to do that. Because I'm so conscious of throwaway phrases. So instead, I'm going to say, well, whether this is going to be a happy new year for you or for me is up to us, isn't it? Because what I know to be true is I am, you are, and we are creation in motion. And I am absolutely determined to make this a great year. Will it be happy all the way? I don't expect it to be. I think it will have its challenges as always because that is how we grow. So I would like to start this video by first of all saying thank you. Thank you to the New Earth community that continues to grow around me. It is just wonderful in all these years that I've been doing this work to see all my work come to fruition through the beautiful souls that you all are and how you all just expand and, and this ripple effect. And you know, this New Earth community is not a community that just sits and contemplate navel. I don't think any of us do that. In fact, there has been so much joy. There has been so much kindness, support, laughter, dancing. You know, we have been out there, many of you have come to Bali with me for the retreats to dig deeper into becoming closer to your soul mission, to your soul consciousness, and we have had the most expansive year, I believe, through everything. And I would like to remind everyone why we're here. You know, why are we creating a New Earth community? And what is that? You know, we've heard so many terms and I want to bring these to notice. And one of them is bringing heaven to earth. Well, that is what the New Earth community is. It is creating an atmosphere, a, a frequency, a milieu, uh, an environment where all are one, where all are respected, where all are supported, where all are loved, and where all are celebrated to become whatever they choose to become. There is no separation, there is no competition, there is collaboration, innovation, and so much joy and so much creativity. That is what is birthing in the New Earth communities and they are all over the world. I wanna thank everyone who's been following my, my posts, my writings, although I don't believe they're mine. I wanna thank my soul and my team, my council that channels through me continuously. And I wanna talk a little bit about what I see 2024 to be for us, if we so choose it. Because remember, we are creation in motion. We don't have to learn to create. We cannot not create. We create with every thought, with every belief that we follow, with every bit of energy that we infuse into whatever we infuse it into. So this has to do with what we eat, it's the people that we surround ourselves with, and most of all, the things that you see on the screens, because that is where the propaganda comes from. So be very discerning about what you allow in. Be filtered, and only allow that which feels in resonance with your heart and your soul disengage that an analytical being that comes from the right and wrong because in here we always know truth always and 
let's face it, we have not always listened. And when we don't, well, life can get a little tough. Yes, gosh, it certainly has in the past for me. And I know it has for you. But you know what is so wonderful in the New Earth community? Even if we zig when we should have zagged, we are still welcomed without any judgment and we are just supported to travel the journey the way that we choose. We are all connected. We are all one. Coming from one source of divine energy. So what does 2024 look like for you? Well, that is for you to decide. So I have a suggestion that you spend today sitting down and writing out in phrases that say, I have, I am, as if it is already there. And really look at how will you select how to spend 2024. What is it that you have desire and what is it that you need in alignment with your innate soul? It will come forward if you sit with it, sit in stillness and ask. And then write it all down and then sit with it and make that your intentions for this year. So I want to just share with you some intentions for me and for what I believe the community is for and about. One really big thing that comes forward for me is balance. And I believe we're very out of balance. And so I'm focusing first and foremost in the beginning of this year on bringing forward and supporting the divine masculine to step up and to stand up beside the divine feminine. We have to create that within ourselves. We have to get the yin yang happening in balance. There are so many people out there, women, who are working with women and that is wonderful if they're called to do that. It was never my calling. My calling was to work with both. We cannot go forward limping like we are at the moment, right? The divine feminine is loaded, it's heavy. We need the divine masculine so that we are balanced, so that we walk together. And for me, there is nothing more beautiful than men who step into their divine masculine out and proud. And so that is something that I'm really focusing on this year, not just by myself because I'm a female, but I have some beautifully divine masculine males in our community. I know that are going to step up and be a force to be reckoned with. We must encourage our men to step into their divine masculine because we cannot do it by ourselves as women. And if we do, we are just going to be just as badly off as we were before because a matriarchy is equally as out of balance as the patriarchy has been. So I'm calling for us all you beautiful divine masculine beings to step out and proud. So that is one of the things that I'm focusing on. The other thing that I'm going to be focusing on with incredible excitement because I know it is it's on its way and that is the creation of the Connect to Soul New Earth Sanctuary. I don't know how, but what I do know is that it's imminent. It is pushing me. So that is something that you'll hear me talk a lot about. And as well as that, in 2024, I also see that there will be a greater balance of finances in everyone's life. However, however, team is very strong about that. If you still believe that there is a power outside of you that controls that, where you have no impact, 
then you are going to have to stay where you are. What I know to be true is that it is our upliftment of our frequency, our stepping into becoming more consciously aware that makes us available to the next phase of expansion. It's a little bit like when a two year, you know, when a two year old learns to have some more language and starts to feed it back to you. The more that we learn, the more we are capable of learning. So as we have grown within ourselves, we now have um, increased the capacity to be more, to learn more, to see more. And it is us and it is our belief in the possibility and in the knowing that we are the creators of reality that we come home to saying, this is what I create. I create abundance and equality in abundance for all. I believe in that. When you believe in that, you automatically imprint that upon the quantum field of energy. And then that becomes more and more possible to land in form. So we have enormous impact. So examine what you believe in or what you have believed in in the past and leave it in 2023 because everything's possible in 2024. But we are the ones that are creating the possibilities and, and creating the level of possibilities by the level of our frequency in our heart and soul. So the more love that we have for ourselves, for each other, for our environment, the more we trust the soul guidance, the more we see the quantum field as this enormous supermarket of all goodies we could possibly have. And the more that we open ourselves up to receive it without the attachment of the how-to, but with the willingness and the intention that this is how the new earth is going to look. And it will come forth. And for those of you who then have it within you to activate or, you know, something completely new, you will find it. It will find you. So be open in 2024 to not just talk about it, but activate it. It is a year of activation. Yes, let's have fun. Let's dance the streets. I love dancing. Most of all, let's be vigilant about where we put our attention and how we, you know, how we upload our frequency every moment so that only the highest version of ourselves and the highest version of life can channel through us, for us, for all. That is what I see in 2024, a year of complete empowerment, a year where we really accept accountability for the fact that we are creation in motion, that we are the emissaries of the divine. And we live it, not when we just get together, but all the time. Shine our light and draw into this world what we all know is possible is waiting in the ether let's create it together through love through peace through acceptance through joy so no i'm not going to say happy new year i'm going to say let's make it the best year yet. I love you. I am so grateful and honoured and privileged to be able to be a part of this beautiful community. Hey, have a great year. I intend to. See you soon and keep looking because changes are afoot. Bye for now.